I am about to do data science for 24 hours straight. At all times, in the next 24 hours, I must be coding. And if I'm not, then I'm using the bathroom for getting food. I'll be spending the time making awesome machine learning projects in areas such as computer vision, natural language processing, and I might even submit to Kaggle a couple times. This is my GitHub account, where I have many repositories that I've built over the years. If I delete this, they are gone forever. If I do not make the 24 hours, I'll go live and delete everything. This has literally never been done before, so if I do make it, promise that you subscribe. Let's start. The first thing we're going to do is make a submission to the handwritten digits challenge. I'm going to make a convolutional neural network pick with a digit. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Here's my notebook. Time lapse to the end. Okay, we actually ended up with 98.55 accuracy on the validation set. So let's just submit it. You have to give it the CSV IDs and then the predictions. So we'll see how well we did on the test set. Check it out. So we got 98.45 and I got 2032nd. Obviously, people have done this a lot. Okay, so to share this thing with you in my GitHub, I'm just going to make the Kaggle public, put it in a simple text file, make a new repository. I'm going to call it Data Science 24 Hours Challenge. Of course, I'm going to set that to be public. First submission, there it is, commit changes. We're about two hours in. I'm going to take a quick break. I have so many of these bowl things where you just put in the microwave for like five minutes, get chicken, rice, vegetables. Okay, I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna solve 50 lead code problems and you bet I'm going by easy and acceptance rate. Running sum of 1D array. We define a running sum of an array as running sum sub i is equal to sum of num sub zero all the way up until nums sub i. Return the running sum of nums total so far. So what we've seen so far in the loop even though we don't have a loop yet. It's zero for num in nums. We need to keep track of total so far. Return list. <gasps> Let's fast forward to the other ones. Three hours later. That was problem 10, and honestly, my brain is getting pretty fried. I just sat there staring at it for a really long time. A few moments later. I told you I would do 50 link code problems, and I will stay true to that word. I'm going to take a quick break, and I do some other stuff. Okay, so I just finished my food and I feel a little bit better after that second meal. It's mostly a headache rather than physically tired, but I'm doing all right. Now we're on to something really cool. Titanic, machine learning from disaster. The training set has the true labels of whether someone survived, given information such as the ticket class, the gender of that person, their age, and so on. We could use a couple different things, such as a simple logistic regression, random forest, a deep neural network, and we're going to use two of those things. So we're gonna start with a base logistic regression, and then we're going to see how we can do a lot better with a deep neural network. And it seems to be a lot of not a numbers. We're just going to remove those. In the training set, our logistic regression model has a 78% 77 in the test set. We're going to try and improve upon that. I want to quit so badly. Again, five hours. I'll have done 12 hours. I'm going to do more lead code problems. I'm a little bit afraid because the lead code earlier was starting to really give me a headache. I'm going back to it now and I have a lot of problems to do. I'm probably going to do 10 to 15. Apparently, I'm about to get a special delivery and I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna go downstairs, I guess? Before we go any further, I have to talk to you about the sponsor of the video, Coursera. Just in this one certificate, you can learn data science, Python programming, data analysis, pandas, numpy, ipython, cloud databases, rbdms, sql. Check the description below for all of the ones that I handpicked. You will stand out like crazy. In the description of this video, I have a 25% off code for the Python for Everybody specialization by the University of Michigan. 4.8 stars with 167,000 ratings. Python is the language for data science. It's only available until May 12th, so make sure to snatch it up before then. Back to the video. But apparently I got a pack of sour worms, salt and vinegar, and sour cream and onion Pringles, and a French vanilla. I'm enjoying the treats, but I still got a code. Two hours later. That is officially half done the week code problems. 25. Okay, I have now done 32. Really nervous because my head is pounding. They give you a chessboard. What is the color of, say, B4? B4 is black. D5, that's white. A is 1. Add that to 1 is 2. Take the division of that by 2, and you get 0 remainder. It must be black. If you get an odd remainder, it must be white. I am extremely exhausted. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to break for a good while. Okay. Good morning, everybody. That was officially the worst night of my life, because I literally just laid there 
not sleeping. I'm gonna do something really fun. We haven't really done much EDA, exploratory data analysis, so that's what we're gonna do here with Pokemon. I'm gonna make it really simple, but still fun for everybody, to look at their health and their speed stat. So for example, here's their health on HP for hit points, and their speed plotted, all of them with their speed and their health. Chansey and Blissey, crazy high health. Shaditcha, which has one health. I want something to tell me what these anomalies are. A very novel way to do this is just to normalize both the columns, subtracted it by its mean and divided by its standard deviation. If the Z score is bigger than, say, 3, this is an outlier. We show in blue all of the outliers. Snorlax, super heavy. Deoxys is really fast. These all stand out to me as outliers. I think I've officially hit that point where you're so tired that you're actually not tired anymore. Now the thing that we've all been waiting for, natural language processing. So we're going to look at all Trump's Twitter insults from 2015 to 2021, which basically takes a bunch of sentences and it tries to figure out what are the most popular words. And in this scenario, what are the five most common things that Trump is complaining about? We have fake news, which I think probably go together. People, of course, media and great. We are going to make our country great again. Find valid matrix given row and column sums. I have no idea what to do. Easy.